Subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon to never miss an update from Kautilya's Fincast. Welcome to Kautilya's Fincast for 11 to 20th August 2021. Let's begin with the corporate news. Retail wealth management firm PCAS has filed draft papers with capital market regulator SEBI to mobilize funds through an IPO. Prudent is backed by US private equity firm TA Associates. The McDonald was pushing back its planned office reopening its outlet to October 11th from September 7th to allow its employees to get the required vaccinations. The regulators are working on a rule that will require public companies to disclose more information on their workforces such as data on diversity, staff compensation and employee turnovers. This money will offer sachet size insurance plans to the corporate clients which will be created with the insurance players specially for its customers in India in tier 2 and 3 cities. The record investment in the fintech startup sectors in India were led by many startup fundraisers by merchant platform Find Labs credit card payments for from Credit Razor Pays and Bharat Pay. Now let's begin with the market news. To curb excessive volatility in mid and small cap counters, the Bombay Stock Exchange has introduced a new surveillance measure for certain stocks having a market capitalization of less than 1000 crore rupees. The new measure add-on price band framework will be applicable to companies with a market capitalization of less than 1000 crore rupees and or securities in groups X, XT, Z, ZP, ZY and Y. Poly network which allows users to swap tokens across different blockchains was hacked and urged the culprits to return the stolen funds. Hackers behind one of the biggest ever digital coin heist have now returned nearly all of the 610 million plus dollars they stole. SEBI has decided that the lien shall be marked against the shares of the shareholders participating in tender offers made after open offers, buyback offers, and delisting of securities. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaram informed that the purpose. legislation on cryptocurrency has been tabled before the cabinet and awaiting its approval market regulator securities and exchange board of india has asked national commodity and derivative exchange limited not to launch any contracts till further orders this instruction will stand till further orders cyberspace administration of china and china securities regulatory commission deleted or blocked over 17000 pieces of harmful information and dealt with more than 8000 illegal accounts India ranks second in terms of crypto adoption worldwide behind Vietnam but ahead of countries such as US, UK and China. Now let's begin with the economic news. On the multi commodity exchange copper contracts for delivery in August traded higher by 80 paise or 0.11% to 710.50 rupees per kg in a business turnover of 5169 lots. CMI data showed unemployment in both urban and rural areas was on the rise for 3 weeks till the latest week review. The consistent rise in overall unemployment rate since July 18 shows the economy's inability to create jobs even as lockdown and restrictions on mobility have largely been eased. The Andhra Pradesh bench of AAR ruled in the case of Vijay Vahini Charitable Foundation that since the organization supplies purified water it is not fit for GST exemption. The birth of new businesses showed a uh, A healthy pace of growth from 7.8% in FY16 to 10.2% in FY20 and further to 11.6% in FY21 despite the pandemic and subsequent waves of lockdown. In the reporting week, the increase in the forex KT was due to a rise in foreign currency asset, a major component of the overall reserve as per weekly data by Reserve Bank of India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced a 100 lakh crore rupees Gati Shakti initiative to bring employment opportunities for the youth and to help in holistic infrastructure growth. India, the United States and part of other emerging markets have been seeing fund inflows redirected from China as recent regulatory crackdowns in the world's second biggest economy have spooked markets.